Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at the crossover The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Issue number 4 out of 5 On the cover we have Donatello holding the pink helmet And it's a variant cover I feel like they've gone a bit over the top with the helmets with this one to be fair um, Although I do like the shredder ones so, and I'm hoping that we get um, a reprint of issue 3 at some point with Shredder holding some of his helmet. We've already got red, yellow, white, and green. And this is written by the talented Brian. And Simone is doing the art, the illustrations with the assistance of Alessio and Waters on Colors with an assistant, I go. And letters done by the talented Ed. Covers by Dan Morrill, who is a fan favorite for doing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So anyway, this issue is all about switching up each other, living each other's lives more enough. So the turtles teleport in. Um, Michelangelo keeps checking if they've all got arms and stuff, etc. But pretty much game changer, straight into morphing time. So Donnie is a Black Ranger. April, I almost said Kim, is the Pink Ranger. Uh, Leonardo is the Blue Ranger. Um, so pretty much they're trying to keep to their colors or similar colors. Michelangelo is the Yellow Ranger and Raph is the Red Ranger. Turtle Rangers it is. Meanwhile, Splinter is educating the Rangers that just because they haven't got their powers doesn't mean that they cannot help and that they are true warriors inside. They just need to adapt and learn to be ninja. So they got this cool look here, which looks pretty dope. I do like that. And Casey just says, you know what? I would have loved you just to have matching hockey masks because that would have been awesome. So anyway, um, Casey is leading them into the unknown to save their friend. So meanwhile, the Rangers, Turtles, who have no training, suddenly have powers and they um, can use their weapons with ease and some of their weapons have adapted for them as well so um, Michael's um, daggers are kind of like nunchucks on the end it's a bit weird uh, meanwhile the monster says you know what I'm fire guy and you know I can cook you basically so they were in a bit of trouble. This is like new to them, so they're trying to adapt, etc., etc. So meanwhile, um, Casey he's taking him underground in the turtle mobile. I don't know if it's actually called that, but anyway, they have a plunger cannon, and Trini and Zach want to give that a go, or find an excuse to give that a go. Anyway, so they arrive outside the Technodrome. And now they're going to sneak in. So they snuck in. Now they got to try and use their stealth ninja powers or non powers and ninja skills take up a couple of foot meanwhile uh, I'm trying to think of his name that guy who turned in the bug who likes manipulating he's a scientist and stuff I remember halfway through this you bet but anyway he runs off quite easily and they are going to free Tommy and he thinks their outfits are cool it's a win-win. So anyway, they are stopped by his friend Tyler, who he's trying to save. And they start getting into it for some foot soldiers instead of escaping. And Tommy says, you know what? I need to kick some sense into you sort of thing. So things are, I guess, going okay for the Ranger Turtles. Um, we see um, Raph save some kid from fallen lampposts, but they need more firepower to make this work. Now this is quality, absolute quality. Power staff, power bow, power chucks, power blades, power sass, sass, is that how you said? Turtle rangers? <laughs> um, and then they were like, and just let's just take a moment to look at how their suits look. Very, very cool. Um, April just has the normal range of things but it's interesting to see how it's adapted so it's almost like the the powers can adapt for aliens or for 
other creatures who may use a power, so it's not just designed for humans and to look like a human suit. So I do dig that. That is very cool. Um, anyway, they shout cowabunga, and then they blast the dude to smithereens. So, um, yeah. So back on the Technodrome, we have Baxter. That's it, Baxter Stockman. Sorry, it's there in the corner. I knew it would come back to me as soon as we got to this bed, because I just could not remember it for crap. Um, anyway, he has chosen some of his um, elite foot soldiers and combine them with putty um, substance and yeah pretty much letting them loose anyway it does not go as planned and they start attacking any foot soldier anywhere so Tommy saves his friend tells him to get up and this is what I was trying to say to you anyway they all start running out uh, Shredder and Rita are back in wherever they are in Technodromes, and she's questioning him, saying, you let them get away, and he's like, well, you know what, you promised me the Morphous with your monster, and we've both, basically we've both failed, is the end result, and maybe instead of bickering, we should do something about it, so they do, very, very beautiful art here, I do like this art, stuff like this is very, very cool. Rocksteady and Bebop are ready, and she makes her mutants grow, or Shredder's mutants grow, so you can see how huge they are, and they've always wanted to trash the town, so they get on with it. So, it doesn't look like the Rangers are going to get their powers back, they're all back together in um, the sewers, so he, you know, basically we should give you the keys to the kingdom, is basically the answer. Boom, they are in a Zord. And um, they're saying, Raph, what? Raph saying, Donnie, why aren't you driving this thing? He said, well, you want to be red, you get to drive the damn thing. <laughs> so, um, very interesting. And, you know, now can we enjoy the fact that we're in some sort of giant machine to take out these guys, and these guys are ready to crack on it. So I am very, very excited for the final issue. Um, this issue was very, very cool. Um, I enjoyed the artwork. I enjoyed the story. Pretty much action packed from A to B with um, some real character growth in it um, in terms of them living each other's lives. I did enjoy that quite a bit. So fantastic job as always. And um, I'm, I'm kind of a bit gutted that this is ending. And, and I hope we get um, at some point another crossover with this because it's worked so damn well. Now, the, the worry is that if you did it again or you did something new that potentially it loses its spark whereas this has been flowed well they've done the whole power thing they've made turtles into power rangers and power rangers into ninjas it's just been brilliant and a fantastic roller coaster so um as much as i want to see more you feel like maybe you start when the going gets really good and you've um, done really well with it. So, fantastic job, Ryan. Enjoyed the art from Simone, as always. And keep up the good work. And um, I look forward to the finale now. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. My page is P. Follow me on Twitter, at P. I'm tweeting and stuff. I don't really know what tweeting is. But I do it. And it's, um, yeah. Embrace the geekiness. Goodbye.